Nick, I think this is where we're gonna do it in the morning, bud. I think so. This looks good, look at that. Look at those three coming in right there. It's gonna be good. Usually what happens when you see them in here late in the evening roosting on here, typically means we've got some new birds in the area. A lot of times they won't roost here, but what we're gonna do is probably kick them out in the morning and they'll leave and go eat some of these bean fields around there and milo fields. Usually 8.30, 9 o'clock, they'll start piling back in. And I think it's gonna be an awesome shoot, especially if we get rid of this little bit of cloud cover, keep this little 20 mile an hour south wind, the sun comes out, but it's gonna be good. Look at that group right there. There's about, amazing. there's 40 right there. <laughs> I kinda knew where the ducks were gonna be, but I wanted to, you know, go out and just check on them. And as soon as we pulled up, saw ducks, you know, falling in the river where we wanted to hunt. As soon as we saw that, you know, the, the confidence just skyrockets. Look at them babies cupped up coming into that hole. That's the hole we're gonna hunt. You think they want in there or what? I think they want in there. <laughs> when you got 40 or 50 coming in at the time like that, it ought to be really good. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. I met Brady about six years ago through a mutual friend, and I've been fortunate enough to come down here and help him a little bit, guiding and stuff when he ne he's needed some help. Gonna be good. The sun's gonna be out, wind at our back. That allows us to hide down here in these little trees, these willows on the creek. A couple more guys help us out a little bit. Got a few guys coming back, Kevin and the boys. Ryan and Lance, they ought to be in, waiting on us when we get back. But I'll tell you what, there's 30 more coming out. I say we get out of here, leave them alone, and come back and greet them in the morning. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Hey, guys, we're here. Got the river right behind us, getting ready to get light. Looks like we're going to have a nice day. It's a little bit warm, but we got that south wind we wanted. Sunshine's going to be out. What we're going to do is put these decoys out, and what we'll try to do early is just take turns shooting. Okay. Two of you will get down in the shooting hole. The other ones will get behind, and we'll just kind of take turns and shoot two at a time and see if we can't scratch out a lemon to greenheads, shoot greenheads only, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get a few teal or widgeon in there for a bonus duck. So I'm ready to go. And like let's dive off in this river. You two want the shooting hole first? Whatever. I'll let you two have the shooting hole. Oh no. Let's dive on there <laughs> and get these decoys, decoys out. <laughs> Brady and I hunted this area for several years. Just us and our buddies, we just always had such a good time that we thought, well, let's, you know, take the next step here. And he quit his day job, said, I'm going into business full time. You know, can you help me? I was like, sure. I'm, you know, I can't quit my day job, but I will come help you. When he has a big crew come in, I'll arrange it so that I can get off work, and, and that's how we do it. About three years ago, Brady and I uh, worked at a sport of goods store, and you know, we both had the same passion for duck hunting, so, you know, kind of clicked. He was just always energetic and, you know, kind of a person I'd like to hang out with. You know, you get some people who are just there for a paycheck, but he actually likes selling the excitement. Hey, Nick. I've known Brady uh, 20 years, high school buddies, college buddies. We came real close with the hunting. 
lot of guys lose touch with high school friends, and this is the way me and Brady's really kept in touch. You guys ready down there? I think it's about to get light enough we can differentiate the drakes and the hens, so cool. you guys just stay in the hole there and shoot. We'll, uh, we'll rotate out, see how the birds are working, rotate out and put two more hunters in there. So you guys take take first crack. Sounds like a plan. What do you think, Nick? Let's do it. I'm ready. Decoys look good. We're ready. That's you, Nick. Kill him. Kill him. Mossy Oaks Whistling Wings is brought to you by Primo's, Drake Waterfowl Systems, Final Approach, and Cabela's. I told Nick, I was like, hey, go ahead, buddy. You know, you take the first shot. I know I'll get my chance here. Sure enough, here comes a lone green head. I pull up, shoot, drop the bird. We're all hooting and hollering, having a great time. Yeah, that's what we like to see right there. <laughs> the thing splashed down in the water, and the meathead went out there to pick it up out of the foam. <laughs> banded. That thing spun around in the water, and it was a banded duck. Who shot it? First banded one is duck. banded, Nick. Rack. What a way to start the day, my brother. Yeah, I see. That was the greatest feeling in the world. Man, I've hunted for 10 years. I still haven't got a band. And I think he shot one or two. But that's that's been my dream forever, is to shoot one. Thanks for the first shot, by the way. Take care of my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he was a real good sport about it. And he hadn't got one yet. He, he hangs in there. He'll definitely get one. And that's my goal hunt with good buddies and get get my chance at the jewelry. It'll happen one of these times. Mm -hmm. Her. Shoot him, Kill. shoot him, both of them. Or one. Awesome. Hopefully it's banded too. What's happened to number two? Brian. That was my turn. Naked legs. Naked legs. Naked, Naked legs. legs. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him. Uh, <laughs> There it is. Oh. <laughs> that was great. That's a water nap, boys. <laughs> oh. That was the old dead head. <laughs> I heard shoot, and that was it. <laughs> Range finding. <laughs> Naked legs. Uh, hover. Here. Here. Kill him, kill him. That a baby. Whoa. Good shot, brother. Yeah. That a good. You see that other one keeping in behind him? Coming behind him. I can't wait. Nope. They were bailing. Good shooting down there, gentlemen. That was awesome. Thank you. Well, we got two apiece. Yeah, we got two apiece. Think we ought to let these other boys come in? I guess we ought to give them a shot. And one of them's coming right back up the river. We might have to wait here a minute. It's, it's starting, it's, we're starting to get a little bit of light now. Get a little, uh, little bit more sun shining, a little bit of light. Working in good now. And this one. Fetch him up, meaty. Great shot. Great shot. <laughs> here you go, Bert. Took me two on that one, but he ain't going anywhere. Hey, 
When do we get to shoot? Y'all gonna finish the limit or what? Hurry up. Get them in here. Down here. Keep, keep getting them in here and you'll finish and we can shoot. Well, whatever you wanna do. Shoot him. Baby. <laughs> Thanks for the wow. How about that? Hey, you guys. You guys got a few ducks you want to rotate now and let Kevin and Lance get down there and shoot a little bit? Yeah, we can do that. Sounds okay. good to me. Why don't y'all come down there and we'll let Lance and Kevin rotate into the hole. All right, single comes in, he's all yours. I'll back you up. What's that? I've been known to Miss need, time to to need back up. I appreciate <laughs> that. No problem. You just need some ducks. We got in there early and got set up in a hole that the ducks were using, but it just wasn't quite right. You know, it was a little bit cloudy, a little bit overcast. Hey guys, it sounds like the farmer's doing some tractor work back up here in his pasture. Plus, it looked like those ducks are wanting to dive in that other hole down there about 300 yards. Yeah, they definitely flared when they got up here, yeah. so we're yeah. going to have to get away from that. I say we get up and let's pick up. We still got plenty we of got time. time. It's early. Let's just pick up and go down there and get in a better hole. These ducks are going to start coming back. I don't want to be in a bad spot. No, I'm in. Let's go. Let's go work it. You're sitting there going, gosh, do I want to move these decoys? It's a lot of work to pick them up, get them bagged up, move them down the river to a different spot. But in this case, you know, everybody pitched in, everybody did their job, we got it done quick. There's nothing better than taking the time to do it and get there and be in the right spot when those birds are coming in. It was all well worth it. Yeah, it'll be working pretty good right now. We just need some birds coming over. That'll be good. <laughs> It's just good God. Dude, are you not seeing the tree branches fly? <laughs> Jeez. I'd like to have an excuse for that. We we had some branches hanging over, but I, I'll I'll man up and yeah, I missed. Take a kick. Nope, nope, nope. We jump. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Where'd they come from? <laughs> Straight from behind. <laughs> Good shot. Ten lights. Kill it. Oh, baby. Lance. Brutal. That is brutal. You're brutal. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Brutal, Lance. Good thing you got a backup guy there. He didn't shoot. I didn't shoot, no. You didn't? Oh, did you finally yeah. get one? He hit one. Oh, baby. <laughs> See? I was giving him two. Being the kind of guys we are, if, if somebody is missing ducks, typically you're going to hear about it. You know, in that second setup, Lance had a, <laughs> a misfortune of being the one that missed a, a few birds that came in, so we had to rib him pretty hard. but. As these guys know, if you can't take some joking and ribbing, you better not come hunt with us. And, and that's what's so fun about it. No one cares. Everybody jokes about it. Brady, why don't you sit down here with Kevin and I'll go there and help Nick spot, drink Dr. Pepper, get regrouped, get some confidence I, back. Hop in the hot seat. The hot seat, baby. Five, six, the last five or six groups get right here. 
they don't want to commit. I think that little skinny part of the river's got them kind of uh, nervous. Just it's flowing too fast. Yeah. Or what? I mean, I don't, they like that. Seem to be coming right up here. That little open spot right there. Yeah, maybe we better move. Let's move about 50, 60 yards up the river. Well, I think we finally got set up in the right spot. Third time's hopefully the charm, the way we got it set up now. Looks like the ducks wanted to come up here. I think this is actually the hole we need to be in for the rest of the time, so I think, I think so it's too. gonna be pretty good. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, here comes the pair. Ready, ready, get him. <laughs> nice shot, bud. That was Give sweet. Two of them come right, <laughs> right in here. Talking, right here come right I think in. this is gonna be a good hole. Be good. Yeah. Cause that was great. That was shot perfect. Right there. <laughs> Kill him. Kill him, Brady. Yeah. Or. That baby came in pretty. That's nice, baby. Nice shot. Big Ryan, get out of here, buddy. I got mine. I'm done. Come on, Nicky. Get in here, Nick. Mossy Oaks Whistling Wings is also brought to you by Cabela's, Remington, Mossy Oak, and Hatchy Bottom. Get that green hit. Hey, that baby. That was great. Wish the sun would have been a little earlier. We'd have, we'd have got him, but we got him now. Yeah. Finally got the spread right. Dog's doing his job. Look at that. Awesome. Sure makes a difference when that sun's out, doesn't it? Yep. Right here, coming in. Take it. Good job. Right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is crazy. That may be banned, boys. Good shot. Thank you. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Lance, you ready to go come down here in the hole? If you're done. Come on, Lance. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, buddy. Kill him. This trip with these guys, I mean, these guys made the trip for me. Camaraderie is the whole thing. This will probably be my best memory of hunting. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Get him. Good oh. shot. Woo. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, Good shot, that's man. Pretty. Is that Lance? Oh, yeah. That a baby Lance. Yeah. You're starting to get your groove on a little bit. Green head to the right. Meat, you know, he's just been a warrior for me. He's, he's nine now, he's the first dog I had on this river. It's great to see him still enjoying it at the age of nine. He still gets up and, and gets out there and gets after it. As everybody knows, it has a good waterfowl dog. Hunting without a dog is kind of like hunting with a good friend. You know, it's just, it's not that fun going down there by yourself. All right, I just got one. I'm gonna let Kevin get down here and shoot some more. All right, man. Keep after it. Thanks, Kevin, thanks. come on down. Come on, Kev. Come shoot you some more ducks. This hunt, it was it was absolutely amazing. I've been fortunate enough to come down here and, and hunt with these guys and with Brady. He's given me the opportunity to come hunt down here. It was packed full of fun for sure. Right there. Yeah. Kill, 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 kill. <laughs> Had a baby. What a seat. Yeah. That is in the house. <laughs> right there. It's not often that we can all get together and hunt because we got to hunt with clients or somebody's got responsibilities at home with family or working. And so for us to get together at all is really a great thing. We really enjoy being together and having a good time. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
across from you, was it? Huh. I was sitting here just like this. The hunt this past two days was fun, especially to see friends that you know I've grown up with and, and to meet new friends. It's just a memory made that we got to add to the collection that we already have as, as a group of hunters, and it was just fantastic to be able to write that one out in a memory book and next year, year after, you know, be able to say, man, you remember that day on the river when we moved three times and worked our rear off to get the ducks to come in, but man, when they came in, we had a great time and it was just absolutely fantastic to be able to spend time with those guys that you only get to see a couple times a year. Having four of my buddies down here and being able to hunt with them was, was perfect. You just never get sick of having good buddies and, and shooting greenheads. Well, guys, let's, uh, Ended up being a pretty good day. We, we started off with that band right off the bat. Nick got that first duck in with a band, and I thought, man, this is gonna be a cakewalk today. But we had to, we really had to work for it, had to move two or three times. But what do you think after the sun came out, it ended up pretty good. Yeah, it was right in your face. Ended up with a pretty good bunch of mallards and a few bonus ducks, a few widgeon came in. Clouds were the pits this yeah. morning, but moving after a couple of times, we finally got it right. Yeah, had it to work was, for it. Hey, I'll tell first. you what, I, I appreciate you guys coming. It's always fun to hunt with good buddies and end up having a good hunt. So that better than working. Better than working. <laughs> it made it, it, made it a fun. blast. And old Nick's calling my favorite phone number, 1-800-327-BAND. That's right. Good job, buddy, baby. <laughs> hey, guys. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy it. Hey, let's pick up the decoys one more time and take them to the truck. All right. Let's, let's go. go.